Peace to the elect. Peace to the return. Peace to those who've heard the message and are preparing in obedience. Happy New Year. As you know, Meet No Milk Ministries observes Enoch's calendar, which begins at the start of spring. And with spring comes a celebration of the spring feast, commanded to be kept throughout our generations and our plan for salvation through the grace and mercy of our Father Yahweh, Yehoshua, our kinsman redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, the angel of Yahweh. The new year, or Rosh Kodesh, head of the month, is our sign to begin to prepare our hearts, minds, bodies, and dwellings for the upcoming feast. It is a time for spring cleaning, both the spiritual and physical work of repentance, removing any ways of the flesh, and all leavening from our personal dwellings. Rosh Kodesh, the Hebrew New Year, translated in Hebrew, head of the month, is the first day of the first month, also known as Nisan, and marking the head of spring, also known as Aviv. This year's Rosh Kodesh is on Wednesday, March 6th at evening, to Thursday, March 7th at evening, or sunset to sunset, a full 24 hours. This is not a Shabbaton, a day of rest, so you can cook food as you would, but at sundown, blow the trumpet as a memorial of time. Keep your conversation set apart, guard your gates, and say a prayer. This is not a regular day, and although it is also not a Shabbaton, we are to acknowledge the long-suffering and mercy of our Father as He should be praise and gratitude of word and a song of thanksgiving on this day. Also, in the second year of the Exodus into the wilderness, the tabernacle was erected on this day. For more information about when a day starts, refer to that great Shabbat, a lesson from Zibiah. Chag Hamatzot, or Feast of Unleavened Bread, is the first spring feast kept and is seven days in length. We are commanded to remove all leaven before the observation of the Feast of Unleavened Bread signifying removing the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Continuing in the time of Yehoshua's death, burial, and resurrection, he is our Passover lamb, and in him do we find salvation. The physical leavening to be removed from our dwellings includes yeast, grain alcohols, fermented items such as soy sauce, vinegars, etc. And any items that contain any leavening agents that we consume or put on our bodies. When in doubt, throw it out. As we are stripping ourselves of the old leaven to bring forth fruits worthy of repentance with the new leaven of sincerity and truth, we are commanded to remove the spiritual leavening of hypocrisy, malice, hatred, jealousy, envy, pride, strife, and all other wickedness instructed in Torah and through the final word of our Messiah, Yehoshua, in preparation for this year's appointed times. Pesach, or Passover, is the meal eaten on the first day of unleavened bread. It is the meal eaten in haste at the time of our forefathers' exodus out of the bondage of Egypt in the memorial of Yehoshua, our Messiah's crucifixion. Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, begins Wednesday, March 20th at evening. This is day one, and ends Thursday, March 21st, evening. This is day seven counting a full seven days of eating unleavened bread. The first and seventh day of unleavened bread are holy convocations, set apart gatherings. There is to be no servile work of any kind, labor of the mind or body for income. However, you can light a fire, cook and drive on these days. For more information about Yehoshua's timeline and Passover unleavened bread, watch Yehoshua's timeline lesson from Zibiah. The final feast of spring is Shavuot, Chag Hatzir, or First Fruits, Feast of Weeks, Feast of Harvest, commonly known as the Day of Pentecost, observed on the 50th day or the day after the seventh Shabbat. Torah's instructions are to count from the morrow after the Shabbat, during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which is the beginning of the counting of the Omer. Many through ignorance count at the beginning of the Passover, but this is incorrect. Study the chart at the end of this video for more clarity. The counting of the first day of Shavuot 
every firstborn must bring the first of their wheat and an omer amount to the priests, so they can partake in the new grain of the new land. Symbolic of you becoming the first grain offering by either the receiving of the Holy Spirit or by the resurrection of the dead of Messiah at the last trump, by giving a sincere sacrifice of repentance through confession of our sins at the crying aloud and teaching of the prophets of Yahweh Yehoshua, by the grace and faith of our Messiah. The first day of counting the Omer begins March 24th, early Sunday morning, the morrow after the Shabbat, counting 50 days or 7 weeks, 7 Shabbats, plus 1 day. The last day of counting the Omer ends on May 12th, the end of the 50th day, 7 Shabbats, 7 weeks. On this day, Sunday, May 12th, is the observance of Shavuot, Chag Hatzir. This is not a Shabbaton, so cooking and all else required for preparing is permissible. However, it is commanded not to do any servile work or no malakha in Hebrew. Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and Shavuot are two of the three pilgrimages we're commanded to come up to the land of our forefathers to keep his Moedim in the wilderness. Having something to offer Yahweh, do your very best to attend his gathering at the proper times and in the proper places. Mankind has fallen from grace, but before the foundations of the earth, a redemption plan was laid, which is a foreshadow provided in these appointed times and memorials. All of Yahweh's feasts are not just tradition or ritual. They are our plan for salvation. When kept in spirit and in truth, with sincere repentance and obedience to keeping Torah, daily exercising the fruits of the Spirit and forsaking the ways of the flesh. Then, through the grace and mercy of the unity of Yahweh, will His word be made manifest in us, and we will be ready to follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Yehoshua's pure sacrifice is our example of what our offerings must resemble in order to inherit everlasting life. Here is the chart to study for better understanding how Torah distinguishes between all appointed times, holy feast days including Shabbats and Jubilees. Lastly, at the top right corner of this announcement, all the lessons by Zibaya mentioned in this video will be posted there. Please watch them and continue to be edified. Peace and blessings to the brethren, those hearing and doing the word of Yahweh Yehoshua with joy and gladness of heart. Again, Happy New Year and Happy Spring Feast. Shalom.